good you can keep the books open so you can follow the meaning as i see it okay we saw that in the 14th century these things are formatted like kavacham arghanam kelaka all these things first before you start chanting the 13 chapters and uh, murti rahasyam vai kruti rahasyam pradhanya rahasyam rahasya traya that is after that and you have got two shuktams in this one is ratri shuktam and devi shuktam two shuktams ratri shuktam is always recited before the 13 chapters post 13 chapters devi shuktam is recited so this is the format and now we just completed our kavacham ka we have to know the meaning of the line so when we recite we can actually relate to what we do om namas chandikaye so first we pay salutations to chandika chandika here is the brahma roopam para brahma roopam here we call her as chandika chandi roopam this because as i told you in the introduction itself the tamasic aspect of the brahma is glorified here in this dev magni mahakali is the tamasic aspect of the brahma roopam of the three gunas normally we have seen only sattvic and raudra aspect but devi mahatmya is the only literature text which talks about the tamasic aspect because what we call it as mulla mulla ladukana you have to take the thorn only with the thorn you have you need to have something pointed so for the tamasic aspect of all the negativities can be removed by the tamasic aspect of the brahma that is as simple as that okay the chandika is the aspect of the parabrahma roopam here in this devi mahatmya parabrahma roopam is hailed as chandika okay markandeya is asking brahma markandeya sage markandeya he is as a disciple he is asking brahma to give the that what the to reveal that secret to reveal the secret which is the protection for everything and everyone okay om markande vaja markande says like that yad guhyam paramam loke sarva raksha karam runam yanna kasya chitakyatam tanme bhumi pitamaha he addresses brahma as pitamaha grand sire because pitamaha means grandfather so grandfather please let me know which is the highly secret poetry you call it as poetry or highly secret aspect in this world which gives every kind of protection to the man every kind of protection you cannot imagine there is no protection is left out in this kavacham all kinds of protection it reveals and yanna kasya chitha kyatam it is not told to anybody else till now it is only guhyam param yat guhyam guhyam means secret yat guhyam param paramam loke the secret highly secret in this world sarva raksha parambana which is protective it gives all kinds of protection to everyone yanna kasya chita kya no one knows about it till now tanme bruhi pitamaha please tell me grand sire grandfather please tell me what is that secret which gives protection to everybody this is the question markandeya as brahma lord brahma brahma says brahma vacha asti guhya tamam vipra sarva bhutopakaram guhya tamam is a superlative degree of guhyam guhyadaram guhya tamam 
so it is a superlative degree he is saying the highly secret one yeah asti guhya tam there is something which is the protection sarva bhuta upahara vipra he addresses markadeya is not an ordinary person he is a vipra he addresses him as vipra wise one knowledgeable one Markande is not like us he is a rishi so he brahma also gives the kind of a respect reciprocation of respect devyas kavacham punyam tat srunushva mahamuni that is the armor of devi kavacham of devi now you hear it tat srunushva srunushva means to hear mahamuni he calls him as a great sage so tat srunushva mahamuni who oh, wise one there is the most hidden secret which is beneficial to all the mankind sarva bhuta pakarakam which is beneficial to everybody devyasta kavacham punyam that is called the devya kavacham tat srunushva mahamuni here it now from me great state sage then he doesn't straight away goes into describing devi he is describing first the nine aspects of devi first he describes the nine aspects of devi and he says that that all the nine aspects put together something comes up and that is got so many things she is chandika slowly he takes from the bottom how expansion as we like you know from, not from the top from the bottom he goes the nine aspects of devi was prathamam shailagutri cha dvitiyam brahmacharini so the first one is called shailaputri shaila means mountain shailaputri means himavanoda putri arandarga adanala shailaputri shailaputri is the daughter of the mountain why it is see the nine durga aspect that we are now seeing is the nine stages of our spiritual life nine stages first we have to purify ourselves by saint shailaputri himavan he says the ganges is going to purify you when purification does by is done by ganges normally she takes all our papas and leaves us pure all our sins she absorbs from us so shailaputri prathama chat so the purification aspect is first you have to purify yourself so first aspect of devi is shaila putri dvit it is ganga not parvati no 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 it is not like that it is uh, esoteric meaning is ganga ganga means it is all aspects as because they associated with the himavan ganges originates from himalayas so it has got the so whatever comes from himalayas gives you the purification <laughs> so shaila putri who belongs so whatever comes from her it is going to purify your soul first so the purification factor is the first one they are saying dvitiyam brahmacharini when we say like you know brahmacharini means the one that moves the brahma the shakti that moves the brahma that, that makes the shiva shaktya yukto yadi bhavati shakta pravagita so the shakti that moves the brahma that makes the move in the brahma so that the creation happens shakti that moves the brahma is called brahmacharini why she comes second in this line everything in this world is movement even our own spiritual path is movement we are not like a statue sitting in one place we are not frozen somewhere we have to reside we do something we do meditation even doing meditation the breathing is go breathing goes on no we keep breathing the movement is there movement without movement we are all sadana savam no so brahmacharini means movement after purification you have to move towards this line so the brahmacharini comes second 
the philosophy of the arrangement of these devis nine durgas then when the moment happens immediately creation doesn't happen the entire thing stays in her for some time it is benign creation just before creation creation has not happened but still it is going to happen it is uh, potential potential it is going to happen because the moment has first happened in the brahma and next it is going to happen so that is why the third one trutiyam chandra ghante the chandra means that shows the benign creativity moon moon means cool the heat denotes creation the heat denotes denotes creation chandra ghanta the one who holds moon as the bell in her hand chandra ghanta that only shows the benign creativity the fourth one is kushma deti chaturthakam kutsida ushma what you hate what is despicable kutsita kutsita passion so getting rid of all your passions kutsita what you have to despise all the negativity in you kutsita ushma kushmanda kushmanda is actually called pumpkin white pumpkin is called kushmanda for the bali in the vaidhya karma you don't give bali only in the tantric aspect they give bali so they will break the even when you do the grah pravesham they will do the that uh, they will cut the pumpkin and keep it everywhere that is kushmanda is like a bali they will apply kumkum on that and then they will keep it it is the vaidhya version of bali kushmanda so kushmanda is something that you are breaking the evil you are breaking the evil so kushmanda panchamam skanda mathedi kushta is the negative kutsita ushma kutsita 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 not kusha kutsita kutsita ushma ushma is a ushma is passion passion panchamam skanda mathedi now the war is between the good and evil okay skanda matha is the mother of skanda muruga skanda matha shashtam kadya yaniti cha now the three gunas kam kadya yani is the is a supreme form where the gunas are in the equilibrium nothing dominates there so because she was born she was she appeared as the daughter of kartyayana maharishi she is called kartyayani so he only brought her up as a kid as his kid so kartyayani maharishi kartyayani seventh is shatramam kala ratriti interesting kala ratri denotes dissolution samskara kala ratri black night no it is samskara samhara samhara maha gauri ti chashtam after everything gets completely destroyed all the evils and gets completely destroyed in you what is you shine like maha gauri maha gauri means shiny one Okay, this is the path that once you attain that knowledge, once all the negativity disappears from you, the shine denotes the knowledge, acquiring of knowledge. That is when, like Tejas, we say, you know, some when you see great pundits, you they don't need to even open their mouth by looking at them only. You will know that they are all learned people. the tejas the shine that only denotes knowledge denotes that shine knowledge gives that shine to them so acquiring knowledge after getting rid of all your negativity acquiring knowledge is maha gauri navamam siddhi dhatri cha navadurga prakirtita 
Nam Siddhi Dhatri. What is that? Next, next is the only the spiritual attainment. Siddhi Dhatri. So whatever your journey is, Dhatri means the one who gives that Siddhi. One who gives that Siddhi. So the nine, she is the power of spirit, supreme spiritual attainment. She gives that spiritual attainment to you. This is how the progression. Navamum Siddhi Dhatri Cha Nama Durga Prakirti Da. Now the thus the nine Durgas are revealed. Prakirti Da means revealed. Uktan Yedhani Namani Brahma Naiva Mahatma. The noble Brahma has thus spoken their names like this. Brahma Naiva Mahatma. Brahma, the noble Brahma spoke like this. They gave, gave the names like Next, immediately comes what is the benefit of falasruti kind of a thing. It is not actually falasruti, but some kind of benefits that you receive by given by her. How, how when you take refuge in her? Agni na dhakya manastu shatru madhye gathorani. When you are just, when one is consumed by fire, when, when, when one is consumed by fire, or surrounded by enemies in battlefield. Agnina Dahya Manastu. Agnina Dahya Manastu when you are surrounded by fire. When fire is actually burning you. Dahya Manastu. Shatru Madhya Gatorani. In the battle, battlefield, you are in the middle of all your enemies. Shatru Madhya Gatorani. Puryata. Vishame Durgame Chaiva Bayartha Sharanam Gata. Vishame Durgame Chaiva. When one is gripped by fear in an adverse situation, bhayam, bhayartha sharanam kada. When you are in that kind of a fear, please take refuge in her. Sharanam kada, bhayartha. When you are, when you are, when you are being consumed by fire, when you are in the middle of the enemies in a battlefield, or when in an adverse situation, the fear is there so much. Do nothing but take refuge in her. Okay. Natesham jayate kinji dashubham ranasankati. Nothing inauspicious will happen to you. Natesham jayate kinji. Even a little of ashubham ranasankati. Amidst all this, not even very little inauspicious thing will happen to you. In all this dangerous situation, Namadam Tashya Pashyami Shokha Dukha Bhayam Nahi. He will not even know the sorrow or the fear, whatever these dangers bring in. So before even he feels it, he is protected. Yaistu Bhaktya Smritha Noonam Tesham Vruddhi Prajayate. Yaistu Bhaktiya Smritha. So you have to remember her with devotion. Tesham Vridhi Prajayate. Then because of that he will surely attain success. Tesham Vridhi Prajayate. Yetvam Smaranthi Deveshi Rakshase Tanna Samshaya. Deveshi, he addresses her as Deveshi, O Supreme Devi. Na samshaya, without a doubt, you protect those who remember you. Yetvam smaranti, smaranti, the one who remembers you, Deveshi, you protect, O Supreme Devi, Rakshase, you protect without a doubt. Than na samshaya, without a doubt, you protect. <coughs> Preta Samstadu Chamunda. Now, these Vahanas of these nine Devis who accompany her in the battlefield. The first nine Devis represent our spiritual journey. These nine Devis are different. They are with her, along with her, fighting in the battlefield. Okay? Preta Samstadu Chamunda. The standing on the corpse is. Chamunda, Shavam. She stands on the sun. Shavam. Chamunda Devi is standing on Shavam. 
ಪ್ರೇತ ಸಂಸ್ಥಾತು ಶಾಮಲ ವಾರಾಹಿ ಮಹಿಷಾಸುನ ಮಹಿಷಾಸನ ವಾರಾಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಸನ ಮಹಿಷ ಆಸನ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಟ್ಟು ಡೌನ್ ಅ ಬಫಲೋ ವಾರಾಹಿ ಮಹಿಷಾಸನ ಐಂದ್ರಿ ಐಂದ್ರಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ್ರಾಸ್ ವೈಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಐಂದ್ರಿ ಐಂದ್ರಿ ಗಜ ಸಮಾರೂಢ ಆರೂಢ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಮೌಂಟೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ಗಜ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ್ರನ್ ಐರಾವತ ಸೊ ಆನ್ ಅ ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ ಐಂದ್ರಿ ಗಜ ಸಮಾರೂಢ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿ ಗರುಡಾಸನ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿ ಈಸ್ ಸಿಟೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ಗರುಡ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿ ಸಾಸನ ಈಸ್ ಗರುಡ ಮಾಹೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಾರೂಢ ಅಗೇನ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ಬುಲ್ ಮಾಹೇಶ್ವರಿ ಈಸ್ ಸಿಟೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ಬುಲ್ ಆರೂಢ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮೌಂಟೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸೀಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಸೀಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಬಬ್ಲಿ ಮೌಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬುಲ್ ಮೌಂಟೆಡ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಮೌಂಟೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬುಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಗೋ ಗೋ ಆನ್ ಅ ವಾರ್ ಕೌಮಾರಿ ಶಿಖಿ ವಾಹನ ಶಿಖಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪೀಕ್ ಔಟ್ ಕೌಮಾರಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕಂದಸ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಕೌಮಾರಿ ಇಸ್ ಮುರುಘಾಸ್ ವೈಫ್ ಕೌಮಾರಿ ದ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಕೌಮಾರಿ ಶಿಖಿ ವಾಹನ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ಬೋನ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ಪೀಕ್ ಔಟ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ಪದ್ಮಾಸನ ದೇವಿ ಪದ್ಮಹಸ್ತ ಹರಿಪ್ರಿಯ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ಹರಿಪ್ರಿಯ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಬಿಲವಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪದ್ಮಾಸನ ಸೀಟೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ಲೋಟಸ್ she is also holding lotuses in her hands padmasana devi padmahasta she is having lotuses in her hands hari priya she is the beloved of hari shweta roopa dhara devi ishwari vrishavahana the pure white form shweta roopa shweta means white shweta roopa dhara so she is white that ishwari ishwari means ruler ishwari is she is seated on a bull again like maheshwari she is also seated on a bull vrishavahana she is the ruler in her pure white form brahmi hamsa samaruda sarva varana bhushita brahmi is brahma's shakti brahma's shakti is called brahmi brahma vahanam is swam she is also seated on a swam hamsa samaruda sarva bharana bhushita she is adorning all jewels all kinds of jewels sarva bharana bhushita so the nine mothers now we have seen it ityeta matara sarva sarva yoga samanvita so these are the nine mothers sarva yoga samanvita they are all united together they are not in one sing we when they unite together they are all united together so they get to see the adi shakti when they are all united together that one adi shakti the chandika mahalakshmi is what from from her only all this nine emerge she is one and she is many that is what we will come to know about that so these mothers or ityetha matara sarva sarva yoga yoga means union yoga means union they are united together nana barana shobhagya nana ratno shobhita they are wearing all kinds of jewelry with all kinds of gems nana ratno shobhita ratna nana ratna means all kind of gems gem studded jewelry is drishyante rathamaruda now this nine united together is one oh nine we saw now she was many now she is going to be one drishyante rathamaruda devya krodha samapal this nine together the devi comes drishyante rathamaruda now she is coming on a chariot ratham as one as one this nine united together they come as one drishyante rathamaruda she appears coming in a chariot drishyante rathamaruda devya krodha samakula with so much of anger in her face devya krodha samakula she is so angrily she is coming all the nine powers together she is the supreme power and now what all she has in her hands shankham chakram gadham shaktim halancha musalayudam shankham means conch 
சக்கரம் யூனோ சக்கரம் டிஸ்கஸ் மகாவிஷ்ணுவோட கையில் சங்கு சக்கரம் கத கதை ஆல்சோ இஸ் மகாவிஷ்ணு மேஸ் கதை சக்தி மீன்ஸ் சக்தி நார்மலி திரிசூலம் நோ தட் வேல்னு சொல்லுவா வேல் வேல் முருகரோட கையில் இருக்கே வேல் அந்த மாதிரி விச் வில் ஹேவ் லைக் யூனோ பாயிண்டட் இது முருகரோட கையில் வேல் இருக்கோம்னா தட் இஸ் கால் சக்தி சக்தி மீன்ஸ் தட் இஸ் ஹலம் ச முஷ் ஹலம் மீன்ஸ் ஹலாயுதம் இஸ் த பிளவ் நோ தட் இஸ் ஹலம் நம்ம பரசுராமர் பரசு பரசு ராமரோட கையில் இருக்கிற அந்த பிளோ பிளவ் கிளப் ஹலம் ச முசலாயுதம் முசலாயுதம் இஸ் கிளப் தண்டம் கிளப் ஸோ சங்கம் சக்கரம் கதாம் சக்தி ஹலம் ச முசலாயுதம் இட் இஸ் நாட் ஓவர் கோஸ் டு த நெக்ஸ்ட் லைன் கேட்டகம் தோமரம் சைவ பரசும் பாசமேவ கேட்டகம் கேட்டகம் மீன்ஸ் த ஷீல்டு தட் தே ஹோல்ட் கேட்டகம் தோமரம் தோமரம் மீன்ஸ் தட் லான்ஸ் லான்ஸ் தே ஃபைட் வித் லான்ஸ் லான்ஸ் பரஷு பரஷு மீன்ஸ் ஆக்ஸ் பரஷும் பாஷமேவ பாஷம் மீன்ஸ் நூஸ் பாஷம் பாஷ கயிறு கேட்டகம் தோமரம் சைவ பரஷும் பாஷமேவ குந்தாயுதம் திரிசூலம் சார்கமாயுதம் குந்தாயுதம் வித் லைக் யூனோ நம்ம ஈட்டின்னு சொல்லுவோம் இல்லையா இட் வில் பி வெரி ஷார்ட் இட் வில் பி லைக் யூனோ லாங் பைப் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் அ திங் வித் அ பாயிண்டட் ஹெட் ஜாவ்லின் ஜாவ்லின் யா ஸ்பைக் ஸோ குந்தாயுதம் திரிசூலம் யூனோ ட்ரைடன் Shargam is Shargam is the, I told you then it's a Shargam is the bow of Mahavishnu. Sharanda Bani, Sharam, Sharangam, Sharangam, Ayudam Uttama. It's a mighty bow. Nothing can defeat that bow. So she is holding a bow in her hand. Dhaityana, she is, why she is holding all this weapon tree in her hand? Dhaityana, Deha Nashaya, to destroy all the demons daitya means demons daitya naam deha nashaya bhakta naam abhayaya cha to protect the bhaktas to destroy the demons and protect the bhaktas dharayanti ayudha nittam deva naam cha hidayate it is only for the welfare of these gods she is holding all the weapon weaponry in her hand welfare of the gods they bear these weapons namaste stu maharaudre maha ghora parakramena she the her anger ghora roopam it is like you know to look at her is so scary scary namaste stu maharaudre raudre means that fierce anger angry one maha ghora parakrame you cannot imagine her might might or courage she is so courage maha krodha maha ghora parakrame i mean she can go to any worst extent to protect you maha bale mahotsahe maha bhaya vinashini she is great that strength maha balam maha balam means that might strength with a great resolve resolve to protect you that is what maha bhaya vinashini resolve to destroy the fear in you that is mahotsahe utsahe utsahe means resolve mahotsahe means she has got that gay great resolve maha bhaya vinashini to protect you to destroy your fear she is there okay trahimam devi dushprechi shatrunam bhaya vardhi trahi mam you protect me devi you protect me trahi means protect mam means me trahi mam devi dushprechhe shatru nam bevartini because when uh, narsimha avataram happened everybody was so scared look, to look at narsimha because the anger that he was like you know exuding that anger so much people were so scared to even go near him but prahlada did not have any fear 
he went and sat on his lap this is what exactly it is trahi mam devi you are protecting me dushprechi shatru nam bayavartini for the enemies they cannot behold your form because they just so scary dushprechi can't can't behold can't behold your they cannot keep looking at you they are, you are, they are so scared but you are protecting me you protect me trahi mam devi dushprechi shatru nam bhayavardini you increase the fear in them the enemy is when they look at you they are so scared they cannot look at you for long time the looking at you itself that gives fear in them they are so scared of all my enemies trahi mam devi dushprechi shatru nam bhayavardini now the now the next lines from the next lines all the 10 directions around us all the 10 directions who all protect us prachyam rakshatu mam indri indrani aindri protect me in the east east of my wherever i am there in the east direction aindri protects prachya prachya means eastern east prachyam rakshatu mam indri east aindri protects the east agneya magni devata you have to imagine how you come go through the parikrama from the east then comes the south so east in between that is south west south east south east south east called agneya agneya means south east agneya agni devata agni devata please protect me in the south east it is guarding in the south east and it will protect me dakshine vatuvara he next then comes the clock comes to the south from east south east south now varaki protects the south she guards the south nairudhya kadgadharini nairudhya means it is south west you have to imagine how the clock kind of a thing it goes in the clockwise direction from the east then south then west then north it comes like that so dakshine vathu varahi south varahi protects nairudhyam kadgadharini south west kadgadharini the one who wheels kadga means i have told you when we were doing kadgamala sword is kadga kad, kad, kadga means sword kadgadharini dharini means the one who is Holy God, she will protect the southwest direction. Prathichya Varuni Rakshin. Varuni. Prathichya means west. West direction is protected by Shakti of Varuna. Varuni. She is called Varuni. Vayavya Mrgavahini. Now northwest. We are coming to northwest. Vayu Mulen. It is Vayavya Mrgavahini. Mrga Vahini. Mrga means normally it is mentioned not any animal but deer. Deer is called Mrga in Samskar. So Mrga Vahini means the one who is riding on the deer. One who has got deer as her Vahana. Mrga Vahini. She is protecting the north west direction. Udichyam Pathu Kaumari. Kaumari protects the northern direction. Kaumari protects. ಉದೀಚ್ಯಾಂ ಪಾತು ಕೌಮಾರಿ ಐಶಾನ್ಯಂ ಶೂಲಧಾರಣಿ ಶೂಲಧಾರಣಿ ಶೂಲಂ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ ಯು ಸ್ವಿಯರ್ ಶೂಲಂ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಶೂಲಂ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಶೂಲಧಾರಣಿ ಐಶಾನ್ಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನಾರ್ತ್ ಈಸ್ಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಐಶಾನ್ಯ ಮೂಲ ಐಶಾನ್ಯ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಶೂಲಧಾರಣಿ ನಾವು ದ ಆಲ್ ದ ಏಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಓವರ್ ಊರ್ಧ್ವಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಣಿ ಮೇ ರಕ್ಷೆ ಚಾಲ್ top she one has to guard you from above so that is brahmani brahmani is the concept of brahma brahmi brahmani vaishnavi bilo vaishnavi adastha means urdhva means above adastha ada ada means adho mukham means it is down below 
सो ऊर्ध्व ब्रह्माणि में रक्षे अदस्ता वैष्णवी तथा वैष्णवी रक्षे प्रोटेक्ट्स यू फ्रॉम द फ्रॉम बिलो एवं दश दिशो रक्षे चामुंडा शववाहना चामुंडा हु इज राइडिंग हु इज गॉट द प्रेतम एज शवम एज द एज हर व्हीकल शी प्रोटेक्ट्स ऑल द टेन डायरेक्शंस एवं दश दिशो दश दिशो ऑल द टेन डायरेक्शंस इज प्रोटेक्टेड बाय चामुंडा इट डजंट स्टॉप विद दिस डायरेक्शंस ओनली फॉर दिस थिंग जया में छाग्रत पाथु छाग्रत मींस इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी छाग्रत अग्र छा अग्र छाग्रत पाथु जया जया प्रोटेक्ट्स विक्ट्री गोस इन बिफोर मी सो व्हाट एवर आई एम गोइंग टू गो वेयर वेयर एवर आई एम गोइंग सो द विक्ट्री इज जस्ट बिफोर मी सो आई विल बी सक्सेसफुल सो सी हाउ द नेम्स आर ऑल सो like uh, you can make out how apt names are given they don't they have not given any random names every name has got a, because in front of me is jaya jaya means victory back of me is triumph vijaya <laughs> i have already succeeded here i have come out triumphantly so there's no failure in your life <laughs> like जया में छाग्र दाथु विजया पाथु पृष्ठद बिहाइंड मी यस विजया द नेक्स्ट वन इज अजिता वाम पार्श्वे तो माय साइड माय लेफ्ट हैंड साइड अजिता द वन द कैन हु कैन नेवर बी कन्क्वेड अनकन्क्वेड वन अजिता अजिता जिथा मींस कैन बी कन्क्वेड Ajita means invincible. Con- un- invincible next one, Aparajita. That is there. No? So this is unconquered one. Is Ajita. Ajita is on my left. Ajita vama pashve tu dakshina cha cha para Aparaja. Right? Dakshina cha Aparajita. Aparajita means invincible. So unconquered one is in my left, and invincible one is in my right. So. अजिता वाम पार्श्वे तो दक्षिणे छापराजित शिखा नौ वी कम टू द बॉडी वॉट इन फ्रम अवर हेड टू टो एवरी पार्ट इज मेन्शन ओके शिखा मुद्योति रक्षे ध्योति ध्योति इज द ब्रिलियंट वन सो यू हैव गुड हेर शिखा शिखा मुद्योति रक्षे ध्योतिनी रक्षेत ध्योतिनी पेरोड ब्रिलियंट ध्योतिनी मीन्स शाइनिंग वन ब्रिलियंट उमा मूर्धि व्यवस्थित लेट पार्वती स्टे टॉप ऑफ माय हेड उमाग्र वार्ते चल रच पार्वती हेड हैज टू बी स्ट्रांग दट्स वै पार्वती हिमवानुड़ पुत्रिया पार्वती 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 सो शी हेज टू स्टे ऑन टॉप ऑफ मै हेड सो वी आर ऑल हेड स्ट्रांग पीपल सो ध्योतिटर गॉड मै टफ्ट ऑफ हेड एंड उमा स्टे ऑन टॉप ऑफ मै हेड शिखा मुद्योति रक्षे उमा मुद्दि व्यवस्थित मालाधरी ललाठे च ललाठम मीन्स फोर हेड मालाधरी मीन्स द वन हू इज वेरिंग अ गार्लेंट मालाधरी ललाठे च लेट हर स्टे ऑन माय फोर हेड ब्रुव रक्षे ब्रुव मीन्स आईब्रोस ब्रुव रक्षे यशस्विनी यशस्विनी मीन्स अ रिनाउट वन यशस नोन कीर्ति नो कीर्ति मंडित भूतले यशस यशस other we i will explain when i come there okay yashaswini means renowned one yashaswini she protect my bros trinetra ch bruvor madhye bruvor madhye is where the anya chakram is there where the third eye is present so trinetra ch bruvor madhye so trinetra protects there between the bros bruvor madhye yamakanta chanasike 
Nasika. Nasika means the nos, not nostril, it is nose, because nostrils comes next. So nose being protected by Yamaganta. Who is that Yamaganta who is holding the bell of restraint? The smell can distract you. So to restrain, she puts one guinea 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 bell. So the so bell of restraint is stays Yamaganta. Yamaganta the Chanasiki. Shankini Chakchushor Mati. Shankini the she is the one who is holding conch. Shankini Chakchushor Mati, who resides in between the eyes. In between the eyes. So in between the brows and in between the eyes. Chakchushor Mati Shrotrayor Dwaravasini. Dwaravasini means Shrotra means ears. Dwaravasini is the one who resides in the entrance of the portal. Okay? He is the dweller of the portal. Dwara Vasini. She stays there only in the entrance. So she protects the ears. What has to go inside our ear, she makes sure that what all, all that good goes into our ear. Shrotrayor Dwara Vasini. Shrotra means ears. Kapola Khalika Rakshi. Kapola means Kapola. Cheeks. Cheeks are called kapol. Kapolo kalika rakshet. Let kalika protect my cheeks. Karna mule to shankari. Karna mule means within my ear is shankari. Shankari is protect within my ears. Now, nasikayam sugandhacha. Nasikaya means nasrals. So, Sugandhacha, fragrant, all good smells you breathe through your nostrils. So, Sugandhacha, Sugandha stays in the nostrils. Uttaroshte cha charchika. Charchika means repetition of words in the Vedas. Charchika. You, you keep Vedas, when you say the Ganapadam and everything, there are in certain ways, like it, the words are repeated. Repeated. If you hear, sit and hear the Ganapadam, you can see that probably tomorrow when they do it in um, for our uh, Shatrudra Shekham, you can sit in here when they do the Ganapadam, like the words are repeated. Charchika means repetition of words in the Veda. So, she stays in my upper lip. Okay. The name of the goddess is Charchika. 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 Adhare Chamrata. Adhare means the lower limb is protected by Amrutha Kala. Amrutha Kala. Amrutha means nectar. It is only a drop of the Kala means only a drop, only a part of the nectar. So Amrutha Kala means drop of Amrutham. She stays in my lower limb. Jihwa Yamcha Saraswati. In my tongue, Saraswati says. Saraswati is like, you know, what she means is the flowing, flowing of the words. Words have to come like a flow, water flow, like. That is the reason Saraswati, who also is the goddess of knowledge. So the knowledge flows through your tongue. So that is the reason. We are manifesting, you know, by saying all this. Like, yes, yes. No, actually what happens, there is a specific meaning for this. The, the only thing is, one, one thing we have to understand here is, like, you know, the names are not um, randomly told. It just as, is associated with whatever your uh, parts. The best, the best you are supposed to do. Yeah, the best you are supposed to do. Dhanthan Rakshada Kaumari. Dhanthan means teeth. Kaumari, let her protect my teeth. Kanta teshe to chandika. Chandika, let her stay in my throat. Chandika, let her, let her stay in my throat. Gantikam chitra ganta cha. That uh, you will learn no? inside. From the top of the thing, there is one drop. That sound resonates because of that. It is, we all think that it is a 
what is the use of it but the sound doesn't come clearly without that ullukulla mele endu onna apdi thongin irukume chinna da or konikala yuyula so chitra kantha chitra kantha means clear sounding out the meaning of that word chitra kantha stay in that part so whatever i am saying it has to come clearly that is why maha maya chada taluke taluke means palate palate that is our uh, top of that yeah mouth inside your mouth maha maya that is why it is so deceptive you know the taste that goes inside our palate disease us maha maya chataliki maha maya is staying in the <laughs> staying in your palate maha maya is staying in your palate so she deceives you with all kind of food and you get distracted <laughs> maha maya chataliki kamakshi chibukam rakshe chibukam means cheek chin chin not cheek chin it is kamakshi chibukam chin kamakshi stays in your chin vacham me sarva mangala sarva mangala means all auspiciousness vacham means words my voice vacham voice so when i utter i utter only all auspicious words so from now on we have to remember like when we talk we have to talk only auspicious words sarva mangala is staying in my voice so whatever i have to utter she makes sure that it is not auspicious let us pray to her grivayam bhadrakali cha prishta vamshe thu prishta vamshe dharudri grivayam means nape of my neck nape of my neck bhadrakali let us stay in the nape of my neck prishta vamshe is the spine because spine is not one single bone it is the combination i mean not not the combination it is actually huh? multiple. yeah multiple bones so that is why prishta vamshe vamshe vertebrae it is not one vertebrae it is con- con- all it is a column no so prishtavamshe dhanurdhari vamshe dhanur dhanurdhari protect dhanurdhari the one who is holding the bow let us protect my spine neela greva vahikante the outside of my neck outside of my throat let neela greva protect neela greva means the one with blue neck neela greva means again neck throat neela griva means let her let her protect my outside of my bahik kante outside of my throat nalika nalakubari inside those all our pipes are inside no all those things will be protected by nalakubari nalakubari means nalakubara is the son of kubera so his shakti is called nalakubari nalakubara is the son of kubera counterpart feminine counterpart is called nalakubari neela griva bahikante naliga nalakubari skanda your my shoulders khaggini rakshe khaggini means the one with a sword let her protect my shoulders skanda your khaggini rakshe bahu me vajradharini bahu means arm arms vajradharini you have to have strong arms so vajradharini vajra means thunderbolt what indra holds no vajra vajra is that so that vajradharini let her protect my arms hastayo dandini rakshe hastayo dhonu that two of my hands dandini the one who is dhandam the possess the staff that that letter protect my hands hastayo dandini rakshe ambika changulish angulish means fingers let ambika protect all my fingers nakha chuleshwari rakshe even the nails are protected by chuleshwari the one who is holding the shulam the sphere 
Let her protect all my nails, guard my nails. Kukshav Rakshet Kuleshwari. Abdaman. Kukshav means wire abdaman. Abdaman, let it be by Kuleshwari, ruler of my lineage. Kuleshwari, Kula Devam. So Kula Devam can be different for everyone. So let them protect my abdomen. Kukshav Rakshay Kuleshwari. Stanav Rakshay Mahadevi. Let my chest be guarded by Mahadevi. Yes. Kukshav Rakshay Stomach is only one. Kuksha, Kuksha. Stanav means two. Two. So Kuksha Rakshay Kuleshwari. It counts as three stomachs. Counts as four. Four stomachs. Not like this. Stomachs in general. Okay. Kuksha Rakshay Kuleshwari. Let her Kuleshwari protect my abdomen. Stanav Rakshayan Mahadevi, my chest being protected by Mahadevi. Mana Shoka Vinashini. So she is our psychotherapist. <laughs> Psychologist. Shoka Vinashini is the one who destroys all your anguish. Anguish. Shokam. Shoka means anguish. In, only in, in the mind. So, Manash Shoka Vinashin. Hridaya Lalita Devi. Let Lalita Devi abide in my heart. Udhare Shula Dharani. Now the stomach comes. Abdomen first. Probably abdominal part, everything outside, that is the reason Kukshav. Then now Udhare, that is only one inside the stomach. Stomach. Let it be Shula Dharani, the one who is holding the Shula, the spear. Shula Dharani. Nabhav Chagamini Devi. Nabhav, Nabhi means navel. Kamini Devi, the goddess of love, let her. Kamini Devi protect my navel. Guhyam Guhyeshwari, that all my private parts are protected by Guhyeshwari. That is the, see the names and this becomes so apt in them. Putana Kamika Medram. Putana and Kamika both. Medram means here they have mentioned only male reproductive system and uh, in the verses like you can put female reproductive system whenever if it is like you know needed. Whoever resides, female resides, you can put it. So Putana Kamika, two people are protecting the penis and Gudhe Mahisha Vahini Gudhe means anus Mahisha Vahini, the rider of bull, Mahisha Vahini bull Katyam Bhagavati Rache Katyam means hips let Bhagavati protect my hips Januni Vindya Vashini Januni means my knees Januni Vindya Vashini the one who resides in the Vindhya mountains, Vindhya Vasini. Jangke Mahabhala. Jangke means both shanks. Both shanks, which is between the knees and not the cough muscle, between the cough muscle and the knee, shanks. They, that is being protected by Jangke Mahabhala because you have to have a very strong legs. So Mahabhala protects that. Rakshe Sarvakama Pradayani, she, she bestows all your, she is the bestower of all your desires. Sarvakama Pradayani. Gulfayor Narasimhi, so my ankles being protected by Narasimhi. Gulfayor Narasimhi, Pada Prishthe Du Taijasi. The back of my feet is protected by Taijasi. Taijasi protects the back of my feet. Padanguli Shu Sri Rakshi. Padanguli means Anguli, I told you. Fingers here, Padanguli means toes. Padanguli Shu Sri Rakshi. Shri protect my toes. 
ಪಾದಾದ ಸ್ಥಳವಾಸಿ ಥಲವಾಸಿನಿ ಥಲ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪಾದ ಪಾದ ಡೌನ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಸೋಲ್ ಸೋಲ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಥಲವಾಸಿನಿ ಪಾದ ಪೃಷ್ಠ ಈಸ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾದ ಪೃಷ್ಠ ಟೋಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಬಾಟಮ್ ಯು ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಸೋಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದೇ ಕಮ್ ಇನ್ ಹಿಪ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ನೀಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಶ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಂಕಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಪಾದ ಪೃಷ್ಠ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಾದಾಂಗುಲಿ ದೆನ್ ಪಾದ ಪಾದನ ಪಾದ ಪಾದ ಥಲವಾಸಿನಿ ಪಾದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪಾದ ಪಾದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಸೋಲ್ಸ್ ಪಾದ ಪಾದಾದ ಸ್ಥಳವಾಸಿನಿ ತಲವಾಸಿನಿ ಪಾದಾದ ಇಸ್ ತಲವಾಸಿನಿ ತಲವಾಸಿನಿ ತಲ ತಲವಾಸ ತಲ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯುನೋ ದ ಫ್ಲಾಟ್ ತಲವಾಸಿನಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಲಾಟ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ತಲ ತಲಂ ಅಂಡ್ ಪೃಷ್ಠ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಕರ ತಲ ಕರ ಪೃಷ್ಠ ವಿಸೇನು ಥಲ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಫ್ಲಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪೃಷ್ಠ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸೈಡ್ so here the pada dana means the downwards of the pada pa, souls nakhan damsha karali cha nakha the toe nails are protected by damsha karali the one who is having the terrifying fangs canings damsha karali damsha karali cha kesham stay urdhva keshini urdhva keshini kesha mai hair is protected by urdhva keshni urdhva keshni is her hair stands on the end like that urdhva keshini roma kopesha kaveri the pores the hair pore the skin the pores are protected by kaveri the shakti of kubera that is she is called kaveri roma kopesha kaveri twacham vari twacham means skin twacham skin vagishwari vagishwari means ishwari of all words vagishwari rakta majja vasa mamsan yasti medam si parvati rakta means blood majja means bone marrow vasa means lymph lymph mamsa means flesh ya asti means bones medha means fat rakta majja vasa mamsa yasti asti medha all the six things are protected by parvati antrani kala ratri chantrani kala ratri means i told the darkness night she protects my intestine kala ratri is cha now we see like vadam pittam kafam that aspect of prakriti is also mentioned here antrani kala ratri is cha pittam cha mukuteshwari pittam my bile being protected by mukuteshwari the one who is the sovereign of the crown padmavadi padmakoshi my lungs being protected by padmavadi vadam first pitta then vadam kafe chuda manisada kafa is protected by kafa means phlegm is protected by chuda mani kafe chuda manisthatha jwala mukhi naga jwala this we don't need to paint the nails too. the nails should naturally shine so the shining of the nails are given by jwala mukhi <laughs> jwala mukhi naka jwala the next one is very interesting abhedya sarva sandisha abhedya means unbreakable one sarva sandisha all my joints joints can never be broken if she is there present but all our joints are now have become music <laughs> no jwala mukhi naka jwala abedya sarva sandesha abedya let her protect all my 
joins. Shukram Brahmani may rachet. Let Brahmani, the wife of Brahma, protect the semen. Chayam Chatreshwari Tata. Chatreshwari is the one who is possessing that umbrella. That <laughs> I shouldn't be calling it as an umbrella. It is like a kind of a kind of a thing they take it during the procession of gods. No? Urcha, Murcha, Murti. They have that kind of Chatri. So, Chaya, Chatrish, even my shadow. shadow is protected by Chatreshwari, the one who is holding the Chatra. Wow. Ishwari of the Chatra. <laughs> no? Now, all the, slowly we are getting into the subtle aspect of it. Ahankaram mano buddhim rakshen me dharmadare. My ego, my mind, my intellect. All the three are protected by Dharma Dharini, the one who is the upholder of all Dharma, all righteousness, is protecting mind, mind, ego and intellect. Ego, mind and intellect. Ahankara Mano Buddhi Rakshame Dharma Dharini. Prana Pana Tata Vyana Udanam Chasamanakam. Now all the pranas. Prana, Apana, Tata, Vyanam, Udhanam, Chasamanaka. All the five pranas. Vajrahastha Chamerakshe, Pranam Kalyana Shobhana. Vajrahastha, the one who is holding the Vajram, the thunderbolt, is protecting all my Prana, Rakshe, Pranam, Kalyana Shobhana. Whether Prana is Shobhana, Kalyana Shobhana, beauty, or Vajrahastha is the beauty here. So the Vajrahastha, the beautiful Vajrahastha, she protects all my five Pranas. Rase Rupecha Gandecha Shabdes Parshecha Yogi. Rasam, Rasam means uh, taste. Now taste, Rupa means form, Gandha means smell. Shabda means sound. Sparsha means touch. The five senses. The five senses are protected by the yogini. Then the three gunas, sattvam, rajas, tamas, chaiva, rakshe, narayani, sada. Three gunas are protected by narayani. Ayu rakshatu varahi dharmam rakshatu vaishnavi. My life span is protected by Varahi. Ayu, Ayu, Rakshatu Varahi. Dharmam Rakshatu Vaishnavi. Vaishnavi protects all my virtues. Yasha Kirtim Cha Lakshmi Cha Dhanam Vidyam Cha Chakrani. Yasha means my honor. Kirti means reputation. Lakshmi means prosperity. Vidya is knowledge. Yasha Kirtim Cha Lakshmin Cha Dhanam Vidyam Cha Chakrini. Chakrini protects all these things. My honor, my reputation, my prosperity, my knowledge, everything is protected by, guarded by Chakrini. So I see what happens first they say the dharmic way of life and what is the, these things are Yasha Kirti and all is the uh, effect of following the dharmic life. So, rewards, you can call it. Gotra Vindrani me rakshe, Pashu me raksha chandike. I don't think that we'll be able to finish this today, you know. It is only 40. It is already almost an hour now. Should we have another session for this? Maybe Thursday? Is okay? We will see. We will talk about it later. This only 40th only I will finish. Gotra Vindrani Me Rakshe. Gotra means the stable, like where the cows and horses are. Time. Pashun Me Raksha Chandiki. All the animals, the herds are protected by the Chandika. Stable and the herds. Gotra Indrani, she protects my stable. And Chandika, my herds. Putra Raksha Maharashmi, my. Children should be protected they, by Mahalakshmi. Bharyam Rakshatu Bhairavi. Bharya means wife. So Bharyam 
Rakshatu Bhairavi, Bhairavi protect my wife. So we have finished up to 40 today and it is an hour now. Okay, we'll talk about it. We will continue with it in the next session. Okay.